What's up everybody, Derek here, and today I'm down at the creek and I wanted to show you a little bit on how I actually pitch and flip a spinning reel. This is a great little rod that I've got and most rods in spinning reels really have great action tips. So whenever you're, you're actually pitching and flipping a bait, you can use that to your advantage. And I actually, all I do, it's very simple, is I just open the bell, put my finger just right there and I hold it just like that, if you can see that. I just hold the line with my index finger off to the side. A lot of people will pitch and they'll actually cast by holding it right here, sort of like a trigger finger. But I actually use my trigger finger over here. Not any more different than um, a fly fisherman peeling line or anything like that. I'm just use, able to use this and not ever take my hand off the grips like that. My hand stays just like that. I don't have to alter or use my fingers or anything. I've always got a good grip on this rod. But all I do is take that line in my hand. I've got a four rod hook on here with a Senko. And here in a minute, we're going to go fishing and we're going to use this technique right out here. There's some clumps of grass and lily pads, but all you want to do is you want to pendulum this bait. You pendulum, swing it forward and back. And as soon as it gets right there, right there, at the end of that, that, that swinging motion, you're getting the most momentum out of it. You're not really getting a whole lot of rod tip out of this, but you're using that momentum to your advantage. And with the lighter line, and being able to use this line to your advantage and just basically release and let go, it's gonna get to your its destination if you get really good at, at casting one of these. And when you find little pockets and you've got light lures just like this, the Senko, you can drop these in holes and you can fish really close to fish and they will not pick up on you. So if you've got a bigger jig or you know something that you're throwing into a hole and it's really making a good size splash, a lot of lighter lures like this will actually finesse those lures if they're a little bit skittish or, or spooky on that certain day. So sometimes finessing fish, not with the bait caster, but with the spinning reel is one of the most effective ways to catch them, especially if they've been over pressured or anything like that. They're really finicky. So you just swing it in and out and just like that and actually i cast uh and this is this is where my beginnings of fishing came from i was a crappie fisherman i used to have a bobber and a minnow and we used to go float the river and i used to do this same technique whether it was with the zebco 33 or whether it was with the spinning reel and i'd be in close quarters with uh, brush piles and i would just flip and pitch right into brush piles and i would catch crappie just like that and then I would have a little bit further brush pile I would see and I couldn't get to it. I would just alter and I would actually use this and cast to it. And I tried using my right trigger finger for the longest time and it just never worked out. It never really caught on with me. That's how I cast and that's how I pitch. So let's get out here on the water and see if we can't go out here and catch some fish. All right, we got the perfect scenario here. As you can see down there, my shadow is casting right down there on the water, so the sun is to my back, so it's perfect. So there's a lot of grass clumps down in here, so let's toss this Cinco down in here, but we're going to flip it and pitch it down in here. So let's see if any bass will come up and hit this thing. All right, you can usually pitch these pretty far. As you can see right there, I pitched it not too far, got a decent splash, but... I was able to use that rod tip a little bit. All right, now we're going to make a cast over to that bank. And this is how I basically do it. A lot of people have noticed that I have a funky style. It drives them nuts, but hey, it works for me. So I just basically put that in my finger and cast it no different. Get up to this water I'm gonna cast out here that way I don't spook them if they are in here
got one finally. Not a big one, but. Oh, come here. Pretty bass, though. Yeah. Yeah. Just a real pretty bass right here on this creek. Let's actually take him over here and put him in. We don't spook that little hole. Thanks, buddy. All right, that little dude tossed our our worm. So let me pitch it back out here, right there on the edge. See if there's any more on that wall that are willing to come out. There's one right there. About the same size as that last one. That is cool. Ah. <laughs> same size. Looks like the same bass. That's awesome. Come back right over here. And toss him out. Thanks, bud. Well, we only caught two fish today, but you got the idea of how I like to pitch and flip. Of course, you don't have to pitch and flip just like me, but I know it's not the norm on how I actually pitch and flip. I've been doing that way most of my life since I've been fishing. So go out and try it. And if you don't like it, try pitching with your right hand and you're using that as a right trigger finger. But as long as you get that motion in, you can make it just one great cast after another. And I've learned to cast like that. There's only so, a couple drawbacks and some you know, pros and cons with it, but try what you know. You, you know, not everything is always going to be the same. So figure out what you like and go with it. But let me know what you guys, how you fish or if you actually fish like I do whenever you cast, because I know it's drove some of my people that actually watch these videos that I make, it's drove them crazy whenever they, they watch me cast just like that. But thanks for watching you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you like it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.